Welcome to a very grey day in Perth. This product here grabbed me at Aldi the other day. It's a Ferrex drill attach pump. Now this cost me uh, about $13. Two pieces of this probably 20 or 25 mil pipe hose for that same size hose and a drill attach pipe and a couple of clamps and a couple of gaskets. There was actually two pieces of this pipe but I bought another, I took it out so I could buy some fittings. So let's get this out of the box and see what we can see. So there's our pump unit. I assume you fold it down, good idea. Filters and gaskets and some little bars. I don't know, plastic, all plastic or rubber. Instructions, two of those. Pumping fresh water from smaller containers, tanks and barrels. Occasional aeration of small ponds. Should not spin at more than 3000 RPM and you shouldn't use it without the inlet filter. Okay, if the pump's leaking, don't plug it into your power drill. It says it can lift this maximum, it can lift the water 15 metres and it can suck the water maximum metre and a half. I would like to use it to transfer water from my tanks out the back to my garden out the front. And that is not a euphemism. Now, I went to and I bought some adapters. So I'm gonna try to hook it up to my tank so I can transfer water out to the front yard. So there's the setup. You bolt it down, you plug your drill in there. I've got 35 litres of water there. I bought those containers in Australia, but unfortunately they have also have gallons written on them. How embarrassing. An early criticism, those bolts are very, very short. So let's try this again. Just a very thin piece of ply here. Might use some actual vice grips to achieve a vice-like grip. I will now attach the drill. Got a big arrow on it here to tell you the rotation. And it said 15 seconds was the maximum dry pumping time. Do I have to prime this line? suction line starting to clamp up when I do that but I did remove a number of litres from it I'm going to dial down the speed that's about all I've got how can I do this without clamping the line let's try that and we do it without spraying water in the wrong place Oops. Now obviously this isn't as easy as it looks. Because one wants to come out of the water. All right, it does work. It does pump water. I bought about $20 worth of fittings from Bunnings and I want to see if I can plumb this into my IBC tanks and get, some, get it attached to a hose. Now, here I am at my set of IBC tanks. They're so full. Over the last two weeks, we've had about 80 millimetres of rain. More than enough to fill this, these tanks probably eight times over. But because it's been so wet, I've had no cause to use the water. So we've had a lot of wastage. So at the moment, all the tanks are in the off position. So what I'll just do is drain these pipes here. All right, and I'm gonna take off this tap and I'm gonna put a reducer here that'll hook on to this pump setup. Now this reducer was the only thing I could find that I could get to that pipe. So what I'm gonna do here is take off this, put this on, but I'm gonna put a hose clamp on it. We've got this Nilex fitting, 
that reduces down to our standard hose size that we use in Australia. It's one of these jam and twist ones. Hopefully I've got that tight enough. So there's your standard size. Here's the big size. So now all I've got to do is turn some water on and it's going straight through. I've had to block the end of the hose to get the air out of this line. Yes, blows the hose straight off. It's a hose clamp to try to prevent that happening again now that we are operating with a bit of pressure in the system. I hooked up a crude, a very crude rig here. But I'm just gonna see if I can put a wedge in here. That'll make this work. Perhaps it will. I really don't like know how long my drill would like to be operated like that. Getting a bit hot. But if I blow up a hundred dollar drill, I probably should have bought a better pump. 